That's Kira. Okay. Hi, my name is Kira Bruce. I am a sixth grade student at the Cab Elementary School of the Arts. ESA is the only arts elementary school in Cab County. My future is very bright. I am part of the class of 2017. I plan to go to college and major in bio biology. However, my dream to attend college may never happen because of the proposed cuts in the HOPE scholarship program. Mr. Deal knows that the average SAT scores of an American, of an African American student in Georgia is around 900, and the average is, that national average is around 850. This will keep a lot of minority students from going to college. The proposed plan is targeted directly towards minorities, and I feel that Nathan Deal doesn't care about our future. We are asking you to vote against the proposed cuts in our HOPE scholarship program. Keep hope, al keep hope alive. Thank you. How could you disenfranchise my future? As a member of the class of 2012, I have constantly been an experiment. The variables constantly changing and the conclusion for us as students, more frustration. My intelligence and talent seemingly meaningless because my mind is not evolving as rapidly as the preceding habitat of quality, education, and monetary funds. And monetary funds. Or, well, consolidation. Um, train, the Bible says, train up a child in the way that they should go. And I excelled in your curriculum. I excelled in your standards. I learned and understood at a more rapid pace than most. I have, I was invited, and in, as a reward, I was invited into a situation of destruction. Forced into two advanced accelerated gifted math classes entering into high school. I was overwhelmed. Struggling and overwhelmed, I tanked. I felt my map course um, that the Georgia curriculum changed both semesters and barely passed the second, the same semester, because of the changed curriculum, which started off my high school career and was an uphill battle. Vigorously, I struggled to acquire a 3.5 GPA in my 10th grade year, but it wasn't good enough to change my cumulative GPA. I had begun to enroll for college males in 7th grade, and even in my turmoil and me overcoming my struggle, there was still hope. With my community service, art involvement, and activism, high test scores, there was always hope. Although I am the oldest children, I am the oldest of nine children in a 13 person household, there was always hope. And I didn't lose hope for my future until the definition changed. Today, while discussing the Hope Scholarship in AP Calculus class, tears fell. As a junior in high school, at the end of this month, I will be taking the Georgia High School graduation test on untaught standards due to my separate curriculum. Edu the edu Georgia's education system seems to have changed. How much experimentation will you induce upon us? And with yet another proposal, I'm beginning to feel defeated. I'm your future. Do not defend your future. I have so much to give, but without hope, I have none. Through hardships, it was brought to my attention I have not failed you, but my education system has failed me. Maybe you shouldn't solely depend upon persons with gambling addiction, addictions who become sensible about how they spend their money during recession. Maybe you should take note to do the same. Invest in me. I'm working. Hey, Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jamila Willis. I attend Ray Martin High School. I'm also a junior. So the question I want to ask today is, what is hope? To me, my definition is hope. It's the belief that the circumstance in the future will be better. There is a total of 2,458 colleges and universities in Georgia. But because of the financial crisis, it's becoming hard to find ways to hire my education. Come from a family with a, come from a big family with a low income, it's kind of hard to get into college. But with the statistics that Majority of African Americans are not getting to college because they cannot accept the requirement of being an SAT. Um, of, because a lot of African Americans are not getting to college because of SAT scores. So I'm here to tell us to keep hope alive. Yay! Yay. <laughs> hey. Of 2017, but will I ever be able to
able to be part of the class if my future is going to continuously be defunded? Why am I and my peers defunded for trying to do something ahead in life or productive? Everybody says make it to college, but those who actually want to go to college can't, then it becomes a problem. If you people were able if you people were able to go to college, then my peers and I should be able to go too. Dear Senator, why is it when it comes when it comes to find, finding funds to build prison, wage wars, or bail out Wall Street, it rains money. But when it comes to cutting budgets, the first cuts are education. This is a crisis of priority, not resources. Please don't defund our future. Keep hope alive. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. 